Hey guys, Ali Shabbat again for another video, and this time we're going to be doing the top iOS apps of 2014. So yeah, there have been a whole lot of applications in the App Store, and uh, I think there's been over a million if I'm not wrong. So yeah, there have been a whole lot of apps, and it's really uh, like, tough to come down to five. Yeah, it's not so hard because most of the apps, you know, I mean, you know, they use maybe for a week, a month, but after that you just get bored of it and just throw it away in the end. I mean, you delete the application, you get another one. Again, you use it for a week, maybe a month, and delete again. Now, here are the most of the apps that I've kept for literally forever. And of course, this is my personal top five applications. It need not be yours or the next guys. So, yeah, so <clears throat> starting off this list at number five is Clash of Clans. Uh, I will just reduce the volume for this one. So, yeah, uh, I think most of you all the new Clash of Clans is going to be down the list considering I did make a whole lot of Clash of Clans videos. Uh, maybe not a whole lot, I think I did like 10 maybe at maximum. But yeah, Clash of Clans is a fun to play game. Uh, I don't play that often anymore, I just come on like uh, once in a while to collect everything. And oh, I can collect this separately, that's cool. Uh, so I have that. Uh, I have a whole bunch of trees lying around though. It is Christmas, so they have put up the Christmas stuff. So yeah, uh, I just uh, log on once in a while to check on stuff. I'm not really that active anymore. Uh, it's because, you know, I gave up once I reached the edge then. One reason was loot got bad when I came. I mean, of course, I heard they fixed that all that now. And I heard Masters had good uh, bonus, so I did try coming up here. It does have its bonus, but not that much that I want to come back and upgrade stuff. Again, 14 day break, etc. I have other stuff to do and... Uh, so yeah, I don't feel like playing that much, but that's the thing. Even though I got bored of the game, I still have it, and I still do play it. So it's a, that good of a game. It's been here with me for more than a year, probably a year and a half, two maybe. So yeah, it's a really good game. Uh, Clash Clans number five, without doubt. And they keep updating it regularly. I mean, the I mean, if not that often, they at least have it in maybe three months, four months, and the updates are usually really good. And if you do post on their forums and you contact them, etc., using their Facebook, etc., they do do what the users ask. I mean, they ask for saved layouts and they have introduced saved layouts recently. So, yeah, the community is also really good. So, that was number five. Number four on this list is Kindle. Now, most of you, and eh, Kindle, yeah, I know. But to me, Kindle is a really good book because I like reading. And, uh, you know, I would go at iBooks, but the problem with iBooks is it's available only on Apple devices. Now I can go to my phone right now, which is Android, and kick off where right I left off on Kindle. I have to actually re I mean, on iBooks. I have to actually download the book again for the Kindle, even though I already might have it on iBooks. And that, to me, if you're only an iOS user, maybe, yeah, iBooks could work. Then again, you're restricted to the Apple Store. And I'm not saying the Apple Store is bad, I actually haven't looked at it at all. But to me, now that I'm using the Kindle, I can use it on my Kindle itself. I do have a Kindle. And my iPod, my iPad, my phone, my computer, and my laptop. So everything is now linked to Kindle. So I can start reading maybe uh, The Mark of Athena over here. And now I'm bored of reading around here. I want to go to the computer. I can do that and carry off right where I left off. Also, I like the feel of everything, the way the books I and mean, the pages turn. And you can actually change the look of the book. I'm not sure exactly where. I have forgotten that. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm not really sure where that was. Uh, oh, whatever. But you get the point. So, yeah, it's a really good uh, application. And you can buy the books off Amazon.com, .in, .com. Code.in, I think that was for the UK one, I'm not sure. But yeah, so you can download books anywhere, and books are reasonably priced, they're pretty cheap according to me. So yeah, that's number four, Kindle. Really good app, I suggest you do get it. And number three on the list would be, um, like I said in the start, I think I did, this application is not yet available on Android, I think, but it is for the iOS, and that's Wayne Glory. Now, the reason I like Wayne Glory is I because I used to play League of Legends at one point. I wasn't really good at it, but I did play it until I got bored of League of Legends. Yes, I know most of you LOL fans are going to be like, oh my god, but not many of my friends used to play, so I got bored of it real quick. 
Now, again, uh, Wayne Gully is almost just like LOL. So that's the reason I really like it. Uh, let me just choose a random character. That is the only one I've played with so far, so... Yeah, Wayne Gully is almost just like League of Legends, and that's why I do like it. And I'm not sure if it's just for iOS. It might be there for Android, I'm not yet sure. And if it's not there, I am 100% sure it is going to come out for Android soon enough. Yes, it is. So, it's taking quite some time to load because uh, I'm actually using AirSync, and there we go. So yeah, this is how it looks, your character, and you can add stuff as usual. You have three abilities on each person. You do have the shop where I think you can buy from anywhere. No, okay, you must be in your base as usual. The map is here, you can view around and stuff, and there are hidden parts of the map. Uh, I think it's called Hidden Locality, I'm not sure. Like, uh, I know this part is one. Well, you can uh, get gold easier by destroying a gold mine and putting yours, etc. It's, I'm not sure if it's there lol, because like I said, I quit a long time ago, but League of Legends, I mean, sorry. Wayne Glory is, uh, is that guy there? Okay, it's not there on this map, uh, okay. But yeah, Wayne Glory is a good application, and I prefer tablet gaming over computer gaming, because, I don't know why, just prefer tablet and PS4. So yeah, that was number 3 on my list, Wayne Glory. Check it out guys, it's not there for the iPod, for you iPod users, at least. I don't think it uh, is not, sorry. I don't think it's there, because when I did try getting on my iPod, it said, this is not compatible with the, this device, and I was pretty annoyed, but then I realized it was there for my iPad, so I'm all right. Oops. Now, number two. Number two is not that big of a surprise. I think everyone has this application, so I was considering whether or not to put this on the list or not, because since you guys already have it, but I decided let's just go with it. Number two, YouTube. Well, it had to be. I hope my. Uh, hope I check if my watch to watch is there. I just don't want anything long coming up. You guys understand, right? So, yeah, top 10 lines. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. So, YouTube. Without YouTube, you probably wouldn't be watching this video. Without YouTube, you probably wouldn't be watching tutorials and a whole bunch of stuff. And YouTube is made much easier on the iPad. So you can just search for stuff like this if you're uh, so lazy, you don't want to type, just press the dictation button, and it's pretty accurate. Uh, no, don't listen to me. So yeah, that's YouTube, and of course for you guys who like music, just go to watch, to watch and go to music, and all your music there. So this is how I find new music, if not for 1840.com, this is my source for music. So yeah, that's number two, YouTube. And number one, which is, uh, again, not that surprising, is Flipboard. Most of you already probably have Flipboard. It's an amazing way to get news to you. Now, uh, okay, that was not the guy. So yeah, Flipboard. It's pretty much what it says. You flip to get your news. Now, of course, on the iPod, and I'm pretty sure the iPhone, it's not in the same format. Most of it is just bundled up over there. Although on this, of course, you do have, you can just type cover stories and view all cover stories. So, PlayStation are coming to Samsung Smart TV next year, so you can just get pretty much all the news you want. If you like gaming, hit gaming, and there we go. Anything on gaming and pretty much everything on gaming. Uh, film, if you want film, music, uh, they have pretty much anything. And these are some of the things I have subscribed to. So, I love Man United and... Oh, okay. Who knew that? New signing. Uh, that's what they wanted. So yeah, I can get all my information via uh, Flipboard. Now, so that was my top 5 applications of 2014, applications that I've never really deleted and I've always had and I always probably will have, so yeah, that was top 5, but there are a few applications which have not made this list but really deserve to be at least on my close list, and that's my going to be my honorable mentions, of course, I don't know why I did it after number 1, people do it usually before number 1, but hey, now, honorable mention number 1, Slopo. Now, if you like uh, gaming, not, you know, video gaming, I'm talking like real life gaming and you run around and stuff, uh, okay, not necessarily so you need to see this. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna keep this off for now, I don't need to show the application, but basically if you do like gaming and like outdoor sports, or you like taking any moments of your life in video, it's much better with Slowpoke because you can actually slow down everything to quite a slow the frame rate, I'm not sure exactly how slow, but it's pretty slow. I actually tried lighting a can a matchstick one sorry, and I could see the spark slowly and it ignite. It's pretty cool. So yeah, that's slow pro. Really good if you like recording videos. 
Another one which I have to add here is dictaphone. And I actually use dictaphone quite often to record maybe notes in class. Uh, I know it's empty right now. It's recently just added them all to my computer and deleted it all. But yeah, dictaphone's really good if you want to take notes in class. If you're not, I don't know if you're allowed to have your phone there. Don't choose it if you're not allowed to. Or record anything else. Another thing I use dictaphone for is to keep reminders for myself. I don't like written reminders. I keep forgetting. For it. Ah, sorry for that. I keep forgetting them and I prefer dictaphone. And when I'm making go recordings once in a while, I do use dictaphone because it's really good and usually Apple's products do have good microphones. So yeah, that's dictaphone and that's another top honorable mention. Another one I do have but it is not available on my iPad. I'm just going to pop it up over here. One second. Sorry guys. Uh, that's the best video. At least it's called best video. Best video application uh, allows you to actually download any application. It should be done my purchase, I'm not sure. But best video application allows you to download any video from anywhere. So, where is that? This I, I download a lot of things, you know, guys don't need to see that. But yeah, so best video, free download, you get to download any video from anywhere. And so yeah, I like to download all my TV shows. That's uh, what was available. I'm like now watching a lot of anime shows, so I have a lot of anime on it. And you have no limit. So you can just keep downloading, downloading, and of course transfer it to your computer. So yeah, that's uh, my final honorable mention. That's best video, free download, I mean, download it free. So yeah guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you did like, uh, do like it. Please like so and comment and subscribe. This is uh, I think the first video where I'm actually just keeping my face in most of the video, yeah. So I hope you liked this video guys. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.